Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is on this makeup look. It's like a wearable makeup look, nothing crazy. Um, if you hear the rain in the background, I'm sorry, it's raining. And yeah, I really hope that you like what you see. And I have a new hair. I'm still the same bitch though. So it's not new hair who this. I mean, maybe, maybe a little, you know, but finally, yes, I feel cute now, no more green hair, um, but enough of my hair, so if you want to see how I create this look, then please keep on watching. If the lighting is a little off, I'm sorry, it's raining outside, even though this morning was like sunshine bright. Hopefully the lighting is good and we're just going to get started. So I've already primed my eyes off camera and I just use my concealer for that. Today's palette is the Nude Mood. Super cute. So we're going to start off with this shade called Bare to Wear. And I'm using the Morphe M441 brush for this. And with this shadow, I'm just going to place it everywhere and I'm starting here in the inner corner and bringing it to my eyebrow. There's leftover um, shadow from the other eye, so it might look darker than what it actually is, but it's okay because we're using the same colors anyways. And I'm just putting this all over the crease. It's not um, precise or anything, I'm just putting it as an overshadow. And I'm putting that on the outer corner as well. And I'm kind of being messy with it. With the same brush, I'm taking this shade called Au Naturale. Au Naturale. And I'm just doing the same thing, placing it all over the crease and in the outer corner. And I'm not being precise, I'm just, it's like an overall crease shade. So I'm going to take a little bit of the bronzer that I'm going to use today and this is the Alamar Cosmetics Soltera bronzer. I'm just grabbing a little bit of that. I'm going to start off on the outer corner and just place them a little bit on the crease just so that everything can come together at the end. We're going to take a little bit of the shade Moody with this Morphe M433 brush. And I'm just going to place that on the outer corner, really. And I'm going to bring it up the crease, like, up to here only, like from here down. I don't want to bring it into the inner corner. And whatever's left on this brush that we used at first, I'm just going to blend everything. Okay, so I don't know how to pronounce this next shade, but it's this gold shade right here, and it is called Put On Here's. Not sure how to pronounce that word. And I'm just taking the Morphe M166 brush. So with this, I'm putting in the center and towards the outer corner. And I'm kind of creating a cut crease with this, but this time not using concealer because I want it to look seamless. And I'm leaving a little space blank on the inner corner to put another shade there. Flipping the brush, I'm going to use this shade called Wink Wink. And we're just placing this on the inner corner and blend it in with the gold shade we placed. And just blending the two colors together. Whatever is left on this brush, I'm going to blend the outer corner. So we're gonna leave it like that for now. Taking the ColourPop liquid liner in the shade Grande is just a brown felt tip liner. I'm going to try to create a baby wing like this one on the side. I already messed up, I made it thicker. 
taking the ColourPop Voluminizing Mascara in black on black. Now we're going to move to this mug. So for the primer, we're going to take this Elf Jelly Pop Dew Primer. For foundation, I'm going to use the Elf Flawless Finish Foundation in the shade Cashew. I did get a tan, so if this foundation doesn't match me, yeah, it's because of my tan. I went to the pool twice and I got a tan, so so this is how it looks. Dang, it looks a little pale on camera. Does it look like that in person? Mm, a little bit. So today we're just going to use medium sand because we don't need to look more pale than we already are. Actually, actually. I'm going to take the Chestnut Elf Hydrating um, to bronze. I'm just going to do one. Two. This is a full coverage, so it goes a long way. And I'm just using the Morphe G40 brush for this. So to set my face, I'm going to use the ELF Halo Glow Powder in the shade Medium. Taking this bronzer shade called Soltera from the Alamar Cosmetics Complexion Trio in the shade medium. Because we did cream bronzer and you could still see through, I'm just going to use a little bit. I'm not going to use a lot. I'm going to take a mixture of this shade right here and this shade right here using the Morphe M321 on my lower lash line. We're going to use Sweet Tea. And I'm taking So Juicy Plumping Gloss by ColourPop in the shade Beechwood. I'm going to use the Morphe Continuous Spray. So for highlight, I'm going to use this by e.l.f. I forgot what's the name of this highlighter, but this is in the 24K Gold. Alright guys, this is a finished, completed look. I really hope that you enjoyed this makeup tutorial. Super easy, wearable um, makeup. These so juicy plumping gloss, honestly, they do be making your lips look juicy. I really do recommend them. I do really enjoy these. I have like three of them, I think. Um, but if you see my color, if you saw my color pop haul, then you would know about these. But look, like they make my lips so juicy and glossy. Like I really like how I really love these lip glosses so far. So get your hands on it. But anyway. <laughs> Um, yeah, so, here we are. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I did apply a blush off camera and I just used a Morphe blush palette, the 8W Warm Master 
warm palette and I use on unapologetic and a little bit of sweet just mix this two together um because I didn't I want it to be more bronze than like blushy but it still added some blush if you aren't subscribed to my channel please subscribe make sure you give a video a thumbs like it does help my videos out so I would appreciate it very much and if you have any requests don't forget to always hit me up you are more than welcome to ask for anything you like i do have a list of videos to do so your video your request might be in there but yeah and if you want to get notified every time i upload a video so you won't miss my videos then make sure to hit the bell button to get notified every time i upload and i want to thank you so much for watching if you're still watching and i will see you in my next video bye